Hi guys, today we are going to review and test a new portable monitor. I will show you some very useful ways how you can use one of these monitors. You've probably seen some of these devices and wondered if I needed one of these, should I get one? So today I am going to give you an idea of how this monitor can actually be quite useful. This is the Arzopa A1 Extreme Base, it has 4K 15.6 inches IPS display. This is a high quality display, it is HDR ready and it covers 100% of the sRGB color gamut. You can check out the link in the description for all the details or if you want to get one. Currently it's on promotion for only 260 US dollars, which is a real bargain in itself. In the box we have all the necessary accessories to connect the monitor with almost any device. We have one USB Type-C power adapter. This monitor doesn't have a battery, so we need an external power source. We also get one USB Type-C cable to power the monitor and one USB Type-C cable for data transfer. And last but not least one mini HDMI to HDMI cable. And guys, check out how thin and light it is, that's why it's called a portable monitor. It weighs 700 grams and it's 80 mm thick. On the left side we have two USB Type-C ports and one mini HDMI port. At the bottom of the monitor we have a dual speaker setup. On the right are the audio port, a multifunctional switch that give us quick access to the volume, the brightness and the settings menu and a power button. This is the smart cover, it has nice and clean design, it's magnetic and sticks on the back of the monitor, it's used as a stand and also covers and protects the display and most importantly it matches my watch band. And here is the monitor without the smart cover, so you can get an idea of how thin it is. Now let's see how we can use it and I will show you my personal favorite setup. Probably the most common way is to connect it as a secondary monitor to a PC or in my case with a notebook. There are a few different ways of connection, one is through the USB Type-C port, this way you won't need external power for the display, as the USB-C port will power the monitor. However, in this configuration you won't be able to control the resolution of the portable display, it will duplicate the resolution of your notebook, so I personally prefer to connect it through the HDMI port. With this setup you can easily move applications from one monitor to another. This is very useful especially for content creators who work with video editing software. And quite frankly, once you are used to a second display there is no going back. My favorite setup is to connect the monitor to a smartphone. Now you should know that not every smartphone is supported. There is a list of supported devices on the monitor website, link in the description. If you have a Samsung device that supports DeX, you can enjoy watching videos on YouTube, Disney Plus or Amazon Prime on a much larger display. And if you connect an external mouse and keyboard, you can turn your smartphone into a portable workstation and actually do some real work on it. You can edit photos or work with documents. The Samsung DeX has enough power to handle all these applications. As well you will always have internet access through your smartphone, it's a really portable setup with all your files on your phone. There are also many other options that you can use this monitor, you can connect it with a gaming console such as PlayStation or Xbox or any portable gaming console that supports HDMI. You can also use it as a TV and connect Chromecast or Amazon Fire Stick. You can watch Amazon and YouTube, it's light, it's portable, it's easy to move around. It has dual speakers with a decent sound, as well you have an option to connect headphones. Another cool way is to connect the monitor to a DSLR camera and use it as a reference monitor. You can connect it to any camera that comes with an HDMI port. And you can preview what the camera is capturing on a large and clear 4K monitor. You can also enjoy playing all your favorite games directly from your smartphone and you will get completely different experience. 
I want to show you that you can actually connect almost any smartphone with USB-C port and it will work, even older phones that are not listed as supported devices. All you have to do is to connect your phone with the monitor and you will see a mirroring of your screen. It's pretty cool to play all these games on a such large display, as well you can enjoy a better sound quality. Especially games like this one you can clearly see the difference. On the smartphone everything looks so tiny, but on the larger 15 inch display everything looks nice and crisp. Now finally I am really enjoying playing some of these games. To access the settings menu you have to press the middle button on the right side. From there you can change the brightness and the volume, as well to turn on and off the HDR mod. Nothing complicated, you can easily find all the necessary settings. And guys, since it's a portable monitor you may not always have access to a power adapter. Actually through the entire time of filming this video I was using this tiny battery to power this 15 inch 4K monitor, which is really impressive. Overall I really like this portable monitor and even use it as a secondary monitor to edit this very same video. Playing games on it is a completely different experience. I will definitely use it as a DeX portable workstation. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. Don't be shy, stay cool and I'll see you soon.